have Waves in X Germano Studios, New York, of course, a part of the Hit Factory. And I'm sure most people are already aware of what in X is. This is another uh, edition of that, a new studio, new speakers. Uh, and most of you probably understand why you would want a virtual mix room, something that you can you know, wear headphones and still have the sense of space. But nonetheless, we'll go over it again here in case you are new. Now, if you're going to pick this plugin up for yourself, I'll of course have links in the description below. And if you're gonna spend over $50, I'll have a link down there to save you 10% off all of your Waves purchases. So in this edition of NX, again, it's Germano Studios. If you wanna learn more about Germano Studios, you can head over uh, to this video. It's actually a pretty cool video from Sennheiser where they go through uh, you know, some about uh, Germano Studios. And of course, you can also go right to their website, check it out, head into the studios, Take a closer look at them. You can even dial down to see what equipment they're using. A lot of equipment, even uh, what plugins they are using over there as well. And of course, see all of the different artists that have recorded there. So being a virtual mix room, you wouldn't put this plugin on your individual tracks. Instead, you would put it right on your master output. Okay, and before you bounce out your track, be sure to bypass or remove uh, NX Germano uh, from your uh, master there. Because again, this is just for mixing, giving you a sense of space, a sense of a room, and not really meant to be used as an effect. Of course, if you want to bounce it to disc and use it as an effect, feel free. But in general, you want to bypass or remove it from your master before you bounce everything out. So let's check this out and uh, see what it does for those who are unaware. So there's a guitar in this intro that is panned way left. If I turn this off, and you should be wearing headphones while you're listening to this, by the way, it's not gonna sound correct on speakers. But as I bypass this, listen to that guitar. Right, way over here. Okay, now, if you were in a real room using real speakers, even if you pan something way to the left or way to the right, you're still gonna hear it in your other ear just because of the interaction of the room, the reflections, uh, the way sound works, the way it hits your face, and all the bleed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So again, listen to this, and then we'll turn it on, and you'll uh, see what I mean. Way over here, almost isolated, right? Let's turn it on. Okay, so it's still panned, but we have a sense of space now. Now I'm gonna bypass this and you're basically gonna hear everything move way in to basically the middle of your head. Ready? Here we go. Everything comes back. All right, we'll turn it back on, ready? Boom. Everything moves out and gives us a sense of space. Again, that virtual mix room. And again, the reason why you'd want to use something like this and not mix solely on headphones is because you often don't have a real sense of space using only headphones. And of course, with Germano Studio, you're mixing in your, you know, your virtual studio. This is a multi-million dollar studio. So we'll go a little bit deeper for those who don't quite understand it yet. If you've already seen me do NX reviews before, You'll probably understand how this works, but this is a good way to uh, to explain it here and why you would want to use, you know, something like this uh, to at least check your mix uh, before you uh, release it. So here we have, let me bypass it for now. Here we have just a snare. And before we do that, let me bypass that reverb. Okay. Now, let's say we pan the snare way to the left. Then we just hear on the left, right? We hear nothing at all in the right. Again, that's not how the real world works. And if you were mixing your track, panning things in your track, even adjusting the volume using any kind of effects, whether it's EQ or compression, any spatial effects like reverbs, uh, delays, and choruses, you might overdo those things, you might overmix, you might undermix, because again, you don't have a real world 
a real sense of uh, space. So again, listen to this. We're completely isolated to one side. Let's turn on Germano. And there we go. So it's still panned. We can still tell it that it's panned, but we're getting the interaction of the room, the interaction of the uh, real world. Okay. And this also comes into play, as I said, whenever you're using effects. So we'll turn on one knob wetter. This is a very simple, easy to use uh, reverb. Let's put our snare back to the center for now. And let's put some reverb on this. I'll bypass Germano for now. Okay. So as I'm dialing in my reverb, because I'm just using headphones, I don't have a real sense of space, right? So I might end up overdoing it. Right? So just headphones, that sounds pretty good. But let's check it in our virtual room, the same way it would sound if you were listening through your uh, studio monitors. Okay, so now it's much wider. Let's go to the different speakers here. Okay, I think we've overdone it a bit. It's too saturated, let's turn this off. Back on. Yeah, so let's pull this down to something that sounds good in our room here. Very good, turn it off. Okay, still sounds good on just headphones. So of course you wanna check your mix on not just your virtual mix room, but you know, your headphones uh, as well. Now, why would you wanna use Germano Studio? Shouldn't you mix on monitors? Well, you can't always mix on monitors. You can't always mix on great monitors. Maybe you're traveling just using a laptop, for example, and uh, you, wanna, you wanna mix and trust your mix and not just do a bunch of work you're gonna have to redo later on. So something like Germano and a pair of headphones can work very well for that. You know, again, if you don't have great monitors, check your mix in something like NX Germano. Of course, Waves has other uh, versions of NX available as well. So now let's go over the interface a bit here. So we have three different sets of monitors. We have the GA2. This is based on the uh, Eon to a collaboration between Germano and APS. And if you wanna check those monitors out for yourself, you know, you wanna pick them up for yourself, expect on spending $3,000 for those monitors and you get them right here in Waves NX Germano. Let's listen to those real quick up here on this metal track. All right. Bypass. Again. Notice how everything comes back. We'll pop it back on. It will move back out. There we go. Great sounding monitors. Then we have the NS10Ms. And of course, the NS10s, the Yamaha NS10s are absolutely legendary. Not because they sounded great, but actually because they sounded kind of bad. <laughs> uh, they had this sort of boost in that upper mid-range which is very audible to uh, you know, the human hearing range. And that boost would bring out imperfections in a mix that you might not hear on completely flat speakers. And the idea behind the NS10s, or not even the idea behind when they were originally manufactured, they were actually originally manufactured at just, as just bookshelf speakers until recording engineers got a hold of them and realized, wow, these things sound awful. If I can make a mix sound good on these, I bet they'll translate well to everywhere else. And that, again, was sort of the idea behind everyone jumping on the NS10 bandwagon is that uh, if you could make a mix sound good on these speakers, it's gonna translate everywhere else. And they're right here in uh, NX Germano. Hear that crispiness on the top end? Again, it would really pull out imperfections in a mix. And if you were going to buy NS10s, you'd have to buy them used. Again, expect to spend, you know, somewhere between, looks like about $800 and $1,000. Uh, by the way, if you want to get a new pair of NS10 clones, you can pick up the uh, Avatone Pro CLA10s. These are uh, uh, copies of the, uh, I believe, the original NS10s. Uh, right here. And you can also hear the uh, Avatone CLA-10s 
in Waves uh, CLA NX as well. We have a full video on that, uh, on that too. Then we have the Exegies, and I couldn't actually find a price for these because these are really custom, custom monitors. If I was going to guess, I'd say probably $10,000 minimum for these, uh, for these monitors. So let's, uh, let's hear those. We'll start with the NS10 and I'll switch over to the, uh, the Exegy. All right. Boom. Right, and the great thing about all of the different versions of NX is you can check your mix on a bunch of different speakers. And of course, you know, I'm, I'm sure you all know the whole idea of mixing. Let's try to get this thing to sound as good on as many different monitors as we have. So that way it translates to phones, to laptops, to computers, to small speakers and, and to large speakers. And of course, to headphones as well. So it's always good to have a reference, uh, reference for your mix. So that is the monitors. Now I should also mention there's a 5.1 component of Germano Studios, and in that you don't have an option of uh, of your speakers. You just have the GA2s for that uh, 5.1 component, but most people are going to be using the uh, stereo component. What else do we have? Well, again, if you're already familiar with, uh, with NX, you already know how all of this works, but we can rotate around the studio here. I'll go back up here. Just to get a different perspective of your mix. Hit the zero degrees, take you right back up to the front. You have an ambience control at 100%. This is the actual ambience of the real studio, that multi-million dollar room. But if you want to make it sort of a smaller space or a larger space, you can do that uh, as well. Then because there may be some level differences, uh, you can adjust that right here. Alt click to put that to the default. Now, just like all of the other versions of NX, it's compatible with the NX head tracker, which I have on my, you probably can't see it there. I uh, have it on my uh, headphone headband right now. And as you can see, it tracks my head movements, uh, my head movements again, just to give me more realism, just as, as if I was mixing off the monitors I have behind me. If I turn my head, obviously you're gonna get more audio in one ear versus the other ear. It's just physics, right? So that's what uh, NX aims to do for you. I already have a full video on just the head tracker, by the way. I'll put that down in the uh, description below. And if you don't have a head tracker uh, or uh, you left yours at home or something and you just want to use a camera, you can actually just use your webcam and just turn this on right here. I can't do it right now because I'm using the camera to uh, record me, uh, but you can just turn on the camera and use your camera as a, uh, as a head tracker. And you can actually use them both in conjunction. Again, just turn it on, turn it off right here. And once you set up uh, your head tracker, if it's way off, let me click this here. So I'm looking straight forward. The face and the interface there is looking way off to the side. So just put your head in the sweet spot, hit calibrate, bada bing, bada boom. And now you're right there in the sweet spot. Again, just like the other NX versions, we have headphone EQ modeling. And you can just take a look at the uh, headphones that they have models for. And if you don't have any of the headphone models listed here, that is fine. It will work with any headphones. This just gives it a little bit more of realism as it compensates for each headphone to match it more to that uh, uh, million dollar room. I'm using the HD 280 Pros right now. So that's what I have uh, activated. 99 bucks, Sennheiser HD 280 Pros, great headphones. Uh, you know, I also have a pair of DT 990s, but they're open back, so I can't wear them right now or it would, uh, it would bleed into the mic. And another good pair that I also have is the ATH M50Xs. These, these have more low end, more bottom end to them. But once you use the headphone EQ here, it really flattens everything out. And it sounds, uh, they pretty much, you know, in my test, they pretty much sound pretty even between those three different pairs that I usually use. So Waves has done a uh, good job with that headphone EQ. Then you have head modeling for even more realism. And essentially all you have to do is measure your head. Pretty simple input it down here, set up your uh, profile. And by the way, once you set up your profile once for one version of NX, it will carry over to every other version of NX as well. So you only have to do those uh, measurements once. So that is basically all of the controls here. You can also change the size of the GUI if you uh, want to put that back down there. 
All right, so let's listen to this a few more times. Let's go to, well, let's go through this metal track again, then we'll go to some more bass heavy uh, samples, all right? Start with the Eon 2s or the GA2s here. I'll bypass it. Again, I would definitely suggest that you bypass this from time to time. You want you want to check your mix on as many different sources uh, that you have access to. So definitely check your mix on standard headphones as well. All right, let's check this on some more bass heavy music here. Let's go to this loop. I'll start with it off. All right, listen to that kick. Listen to the snare. It's very isolated, very localized, right? Let's pop this on. Boom, everything moves out. Now we're surrounded by the sound. The snare is now hitting us in the middle of the head instead of sort of at the top of the head. Again, when you go to pan, set your levels, use effects, it's very important to have a real sense of space. Let's check it on our NS10s. The exegies, that extended low end. So we know how our mix is gonna perform on much larger speakers. All right, all sounds good. Let's go to another sample here. On the exegies right now. Off. Ready? Back on. Everything moves out. We're surrounded. We're in our virtual mix studio. Go to the NS10s. If you listen to the upper mid range, hear that uh, hi hat? It's definitely sticking out more with the NS10s. again very good turn it off here go to the next loop we're bypass right now by the way again the sound is very localized and i'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing but when it comes to mixing we need space whenever so whenever we do our panning our volume adjustments and use our effects. We want to make sure all this stuff translates as well as we can uh, get it to translate. Very localized, right? Pop this on. Ready? Here we go. Boom. It's like the whole world just opens up right there. And it's tens. the upper mid-range. Exegies. So on this track, if you were still mixing it, let's bypass this. Listen to that low end, listen to that kick, listen to the bass. Again, because it's so localized to just left and right, we're not getting a real sense of what would happen in a real world. Would this translate to a system where somebody has a sub? You know, some things are just, they're not mixed properly. And if you, especially whenever you have a sub in your room and you listen to something that's mixed improperly, it's mixed on only small speakers or only on headphones, uh, and you play it back on your 
a system that has a sub on it, you can't hear anything but the sub. And of course, that's usually not what, uh, what you want. So let me go back here, then we'll pop on our exegies here. And you'll definitely hear how that low end starts to surround you now. Ready? Here we go. Oh. I'll bypass it again. Back on. And it's tense. Again, it's important to check your mix on different speakers, different sizes of speakers. Uh, so again, it translates because basically nobody, let's just be honest, basically nobody's going to have studio monitors uh, hooked up in their home. It's only, it's only us, which is a very small niche of people. Uh, let me bypass this here. Okay. Back on with the GA2s. Listen to that kick. It's very punchy. Which of course is what you ex would expect with smaller speak. I'm not saying these are that small, but smaller than the exegies. Now, once we pop on the exegies, it's gonna blow up, right? So we'll go back to the G2s. Very punchy. Boom. Now that low one is totally different, right? So that is NX Germano Studios from Waves. It gives you that great multi-million dollar room and three radically different sets of monitors to check your mix on. Again, I suggest you turn this off from time to time, make sure it translates well to just headphones. And also, again, reminder, make sure to bypass this or remove it from your master before you bounce everything out. Don't forget if you're gonna spend over 50, the Buckaroonos, Buckaroonos, it's not even a word. If you're going to spend over $50 on Waves plugins, be sure to use the 10% off link in the description below. And we'll have links for the NX head tracker in case you want to pick that up while you're at it, just to have it on hand, get a little bit more realism and not have to use your uh, web cam. I'll also throw a link down there if you want to pick up some Sennheiser HD 280 Pros from Amazon. Again, 100 bucks, great headphones to just have on uh, on hand. And they work here in NX and uh, NX Germano and all of the other Waves NX versions as well. All right, so again, head over there to Waves, pick up Germano Studios, mix in that multi-million dollar studio. Uh, you know, here we have about uh, $15,000 minimum worth of monitors that you can check your mix on. Even if you have your own monitors, always a good idea to check it in a virtual mix room before you send that mix out there into the world. Why not? It takes a couple seconds. Check it, see what it sounds like. And just make sure that it uh, translates to as many different devices as, uh, as possible. All right, so once again, that is Waves NX Germano.